Pisces, welcome back. We are going to do a general reading for you today. We are going to start doing Aries through Pisces for you, Pisces, water sign. I drew one card for you for your general overall energy, and you got the Empress. Sweet. So this means that you can, one, know somebody that's pregnant, be pregnant yourself, thinking about getting pregnant, or in your life there's growth and abundance coming your direction. So we're going to leave that up at the top. So I remember to refer back to it, and we'll see what we get. So, source, guides. Christ is dealing with an Aries. What is the Aries thinking, feeling at this time? Okay. Two more, please, source. Also keep in mind that roles can be reversed. If this is not your story or it doesn't resonate, check your other signs. Come back next week. Energy changes all the time. Right now, the Aries is kind of holding their own. They're thinking about traditional things. I would say right now, there can be, ooh, there can be direction moving forward. They are a type of person that would want a union, so the Aries looks pretty decent. Okay, let's see what we have for Taurus, please, Source. Taurus. What is the Taurus thinking and feeling? Ooh, they're definitely interested. <laughs> Ace Wands, new start, new beginning. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check that out. Movement forward, messages. This is action. Definitely a good sign. Okay, ooh. Clarifying, we have the Three of Wands. So, yes. Yes, Taurus looks good. Gemini, please, Taurus. Okay, so they're very methodical. They definitely can see a new start with you. With the Ace of Swords, it's something that they're very honest about. They definitely want to come your direction. The The King of Pentacles is very sturdy. The Ace of Swords, did I say Wands? Ace of Swords is very, it's new focus. So this person is focused. It's clear communication. Um, it's kind of, it's compromise. And the King of Pentacles also very sturdy and into compromise. He is a, now this also can be somebody that is married, but they can also be marriage types. So don't get too hung up on if somebody's taken or not, just in a general small reading. Okay. Let's see. Cancer. Two more source. Okay. What came out first was the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. One more, please. So they are watching you right now. They definitely are. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not the most um, emotional type person, but they're definitely thinking about the situation. However, they do seem to have some derogatory thoughts. So it's almost like they, they're biting themselves. You know, they're biting their own damn tongue with acting very stoic non-emotional, really thinking about it, very much watching you, paying attention to what you got going on. They don't know what direction to go just yet, and they're kind of kicking themselves in the ass. <laughs> they're screwing up how they come at you, period. Nah, what, you know? Come on. Leo, please. Leo, 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 Leo. All right. Ooh. The Leo has something to offer. Definitely would be interested in pursuing. Okay. Oh, they're definitely wanting to come at you, your direction, and win a situation. They feel successful. This could be a very good connection and be very happy. Sweet. Sweet. We'll take it. All right. If you are dealing with a Virgo. All right. There could be no communication going on right now, and they're trying to... It's almost like if you're in a relationship with this person right now, there's a lack of communication. They ghosted you. Um, there's been some type of separation. There needs to be more compromise. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Okay. Yeah. They aren't moving, they aren't budging, also can have a heavy Aries sign. I know we are doing for Virgo, but I like to let you guys know that that also with the Emperor can be an Aries sign. So, stubborn, not moving forward anytime soon. All right, we're going to switch decks to get fresh energy. Libra, dealing with a Libra. Libra, please, source. Two more. Okay. So they're not really discussing how they feel about things. They're using their intuition right now. They're, with the Ten of Swords, they're stuck in their head about a situation, trying to move forward from something from the past. So they're a little more emotional. 
holding back. Ooh, there's the Empress. But they do, now this can be a reconnection because with the Six of Cups, they're thinking about memories from the past. This can be somebody from your past coming your direction eventually. Definitely, they're thinking about it. Can be coming back your direction. That one looks pretty good. I mean, if you are looking to take somebody back that possibly could be a Libra, that looks pretty good. They're actually thinking about something that had gone wrong. Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. Ten of Wands. Again, needing to be a compromise in a situation. Uh, three of Cups wanting to reconnect. This can be establishing... Um, a new bond. It also can be getting back together. They're coming out very who fast and furious. So there is action here. There's definitely action here. With the three, I do have to say, can have been a third party situation, but it's feeling more like somebody wants to come in your direction and uh, do a little talk and kiss your ass. Okay. Sagittarius, please. Source. Sag. They should probably, huh? Okay. Let's take the first, well, we'll take the first four. That's quite a bit. Okay. So the Sag, very slow. You could have friend zoned them. Um, they're not seeing what's being offered or, or you don't care that they're offering anything. They want to commit, they want to come in very passionately. They have sexual interest, but I think it feels more like you are holding back than they are. All right, Tay. Capricorn, please, Source. After we finish this, I will clean up the mess, pause the video, clean up the mess, and then do a full spread, see what your person could be thinking or feeling specifically. All right, one more. Okay, you definitely have some people watching you, and I mean plenty of people because there's a lot of court cards coming up. Here's Libra. This person's watching. They're paying attention to you. They're watching you on Facebook. They're going through trying to find out what you're doing, what you're up to. Um, they could definitely come in with a better balance, but they're, they might feel that you're not looking at all the details or they're not. It's like, okay, so if you want something that's even Steven, they seem kind of conniving. They seem kind of, hmm, I feel that they just aren't going to come in with an even balance. Careful with that one. Okay, Aquarius. Four, let's see, one, two. Yes, curious. All right, one more, please. Okay. Four again. We'll take it. All right. Nine of Wands also coming up again. There needs to be better compromise in a situation. This is kind of like wanting to give up. Okay. It's like there's something that needs to change. There needs to be, there, you know, a reality check needs to be going on here. Refocusing. King of Swords, again, that came up at least once for you. They're very stoic. They're not emotional. They're being shitty. They're, um, no, there's not a lot of communication coming in, into this at all. And with death, it definitely means that there was an end of a cycle. So possibly a breakup had happened. Might be time to move on. All right. Pisces, dealing with a Pisces. Okay. Okay, so the Pisces, I'm going to pick up one more. The Pisces with the Five of Wands, there was some, uh, competition is almost what I'm seeing, and they're like, I, I can't deal with that competition that's going on there. They're definitely not feeling themselves. They're kind of, they're really holding back and kind of being snooty, snotty, uh, stubborn, but they do want a relationship and a union. So it's like if they do come in, it's going to be it's gonna be a while. I'm going to give this four to six weeks because they would want this, but they're feeling like they're not. It's almost like they feel like they're not good enough, just not in their, mm -mm, not at all. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, clean up this mess, and we will do a full spread. Okay, let's start with Pisces. General overall energy. What's the situation here? Okay. All right, there's something that's, you know, you don't want to be single in a situation. You're not feeling like you have everything that you need and you want there to be communication and action forward. 
again reminding you that we have the Empress for the general overall energy for Pisces today. Okay, let's see. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, so something isn't quite right at home. There's something not quite right at home, period. That's, I mean, I can't even clarify that better than that. Okay, what is this person's thoughts and feelings? This person's thoughts and feelings that Pisces is dealing with or thinking about. Okay, they're holding back a little bit in a situation. Let's get that steady for you where you can see it good. Okay, so holding back can be a Leo sign. Can be fire and earth as well. One or two more cards, please, Lars. One or two more cards, please. Okay. Yeah, they're really, they're thinking about everything. They're pondering the situation. Strength can also be passion. Clarify strength. And it seems that, oh yeah. Okay. So, I'm not going to say anything just yet. Let's get two more to clarify. Clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify. Okay. They feel that you're lying about something. Okay. So now keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but the person on this side or energy that can be right now feels like you're being deceitful about something. Clarify that five of swords. Yeah. And it's hurtful to them. To them, it's affecting something with this uh, relationship that you have that should be a certain way. And they're feeling like it could be potentially over. All right. Let's see what, what's the surrounding environment for this. Okay. Again, they're not coming your direction. They're really thinking about this. They're up in their head. This is about a connection. This is about a union. Two of cups can be a water sign, can be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Otherwise, it's a smaller version of things that aren't going extremely well. The devil is... A strong desire when it's reversed it's obsession sometimes it can be jealousy betrayal um, it also can be detaching from things that no longer serve you so letting go of things like uh, drinking overeating etc things of that nature clarify the devil reverse clarify the devil reverse All right. yeah they you know I'm really getting strongly somebody both, neither one of you trust the other one. There's no trust here at all. This one doesn't trust you. You don't trust them. You feel like you found something out. Mm -mm. All right, what's the surrounding, surrounding environment? What's going on in the environment? There could have been a third party situation. They could be feeling like there was a third party situation. Okay. Lovers, there could have been a choice. This also can be a Gemini. A choice between two people, it could be they feel or you feel that the other one is thinking about leaving. The Ten of Pentacles, reverse. Mm -hmm. With you wanting action forward, something moving, them holding back, this really looks like there's somebody that's going to be bailing soon. It really does. Okay, what is the hope and fear that you have for this situation? It also can be that you're wanting to move on, but you don't want to necessarily be single. All right. Well, your hope is that this is brand new. This is feeling like something new. It really is. I don't even know that you're necessarily out of this relationship yet, but it looks like you want something absolutely new. You're very passionate about it. Hmm. It's potential new messaging. It's being inspired it's growth and enthusiasm but it's moving forward it's that butterflies in your belly type feeling and the six of wands that's success moving forward achieving something hmm what's the possible outcome okay okay so possible outcome can be a scorpio can be an aries we have uh yeah okay so this is a end of a situation, end of a cycle. You are being very 
methodical about it, you're kind of dictating what you want. It's like you're finally standing up for yourself and being stable, wanting a permanent partner, having a reliable future after a change that could be coming. It's, a, it's like, okay, I've had enough of this. I give up. Feeling sorrow. Speaking your truth. It seems like there is going to... I don't know. It's really looking like you're breaking up with somebody. It really does. All right. What's the advice? What's the advice for Pisces? What's the advice for Pisces? At least you're damn well thinking about it right now. Okay. All right. Well... You can manifest and have anything that you want. You definitely could make this offer of something tangible and move forward into a different direction. Page of Pentacles, your friend is owning someone. I don't know if you're in a relationship that... Yeah, you're just not feeling positive about this person that... Not that you're being crappy towards them but somebody's being a little bit immature here and they feel somebody feels stagnation and it seems like neither one of you trust each other it really does you can move forward you can be triumphant you have all of the cards here to do so and do what's best for you also i'm just going to stick in there this can be a gift so getting a gift from somebody um also can be a cancer so right now it's looking like what you're hearing from sources. Really think about, put some contemplation into the situation that you have. Is it making you happy? It's really questioning your contentment all the way. All right, let's get one or two Love Oracle cards. Keep in mind, this is just the energy right now. If it is not your story, again, check your other placements. Please do give a thumbs up if you made it all the way through this video. Help circulate the messages to other people that might need to hear it. Okay, let's get two cards. Okay. Deception and retreat, which is exactly what we're seeing in here. Somebody feels lied to. Somebody feels betrayal. And the retreat is right there. Take some time. Our beginning card of abundance is your outcome that is coming, but you're going to have to make it happen. You're going to have to make a decision firmly about something, and it does look like, also can be a Gemini, that there's a choice between two people. It also can be choosing to, you, you want this balance, but you're not feeling that it's going to happen where you are right now. And so you're really taking your sweet ass time or they are to decide how to go about this situation moving into your happiness. Okay, Pisces, not the best story. Sorry for that. Let's get one fun card. All right. Uh, you got a feeling you just can't shake. Listen to the listen to that shit. You know, again, use your intuition about something. Okay, this is the energy we have for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, we will see you next time and many blessings.